Welcome back to this new video with Express. Today I'm going to be talking about a simple way to accept credit card payment for your business. So whether you are a freelancer, small businesses owner, or selling online, Square makes it easier. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up a Square and start accepting payments today. So Square is a payment where you can use it even in person, online, remotely, or basically the most that is more common for you. So they have a lot of things that can be helping you with your emergency elements and we can take the contact list if you wanted to. You have the business of the POS and this is how it actually looks when you are making some sales. Uh, it will be online, whether that will be physical, whether that will be contact list. So let's get started. So first of all, what I need to do, of course, is to set up a Square account. So if I go here into squareopt.com, I'm going to choose the option that says get started. You have the link to download the description if you want to don't look for it by yourself. Now here what I need to do is to type my email address and as well as an actual passcode. Then I'm going to be choosing the location where I'm currently at. It's going to be really important to choose a real location otherwise uh, this might not be available into the country you're currently looking for. Now for example here I'm going to be choosing once again my, my email Great, now we are signed in directly into Square Up. Now, what you need to do, of course, is to customize your home page. So, what I need to do, of course, is to choose what do we primarily sell into our company. So, well, that will be food, retail goods, sport, home repair, professional services, or something else. I guess you to go for food and drink. And then a little bit more about our business. For example, let's say that we do. Uh, catering next and then lastly we have now the dashboard into our account now if you want to accept payments in person the square card reader is a great option and you can set it up here into square up so we wanted to download the square POS application where you can connect your reader card and enter a payment account but for that, I'm going to be showing you what are the tools that we do have available here into Square. So, for example, let's say that first of all, I wanted to get started by receiving money online. So, to receive my money online, first of all, what I need to do is to go here into the upper side and make sure that here the setup guide has now been finished uh, step by step. For example, first of all, finish getting approved to accept the payments. When I clicked in here, I needed to make sure that my identity has not been verified. So I choose the country I am located and I add the basic information about, for example, my SSN or the ITIN. Once you finish with this verification, you can always go back here into Square. So I'm going to go back again into my dashboard and I can, for example, start by doing the most easiest element, which is creating a payment link. For that, we can go here into the upper side, it says take a payment. And the dashboard should be now having the remote payment element. Into the remote payment element, we have to take remote payments into my computer. I can create and share a payment link, or I can generate and send an invoice. Let's go and choose a send a payment link. Now here you can choose a purpose of this uh, element. For example, where that will be taking a payment, selling an item, selling an event or a class or accept a donation so let's go for selling an item and here i'm going to go for continue this is the part where you can start to customize the purpose of it so i can create my very first new item it's going to be popping off this new element where you can start to adding all the information about my item so this would be my product number one i choose my price and the description if you want, you can upload an image. So in my case, I'm just gonna add an image about my company. And now here you have to check out custom fields. Custom fields are, for example, something that you wanted to add for an advanced element. For example, the custom field title, let's say, for example, that I wanted to receive birth day. And here is required birthday. Or let's say, for example, enter your full legal name and here should be added to the custom field if you wanted to accept tipping you can do it so 
I make the confirmation at the checkout, redirect to a website after the checkout. In my case, I just won't do it. And this is how it should be looking uh, into the details. When they clicked into the checkout, they can add a tab. Here is the order summary. Here is the required, the checkout, the contact information. Here is the payment, and here is the pay. And when they make the payment, this is how it should be looked. The payment is confirmed. The summary, the total, that will be actually added. And here, even we do have this to create a linked element. So I'm going to hit now to save. And there we go. Here we have now uh, received the linked so we can start receiving money here into square space. There's more things to come. For example, there's the subscriptions elements where you can create an actual plan for subscriptions. You can do more elements, for example, shop for an actual hardware. A hardware is going to be helping you to receive the money in your retail in person. So we can choose on the go to multiple locations or select the three of them, choose the best option fits for yourself and for your uh, budget and choose the best terminal you want to. So we have this one, we have the other one and you can start by configuring all of that directly here into the dashboard of the Square app. Now, remember that before you do all of this, it's going to be really important to verify your account and verify your business information in order to start receiving money. Otherwise, any of this won't be available until you do it. So, so basically, it's a super easy way of how we can start accepting money here to squareup.com. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great elements of how we can start receiving money here into Square. All of your money should be appearing in here and you can just choose banking so you can add your bank account and start receiving the earnings of your Square Up dashboard. So thank you once again for watching the video guys. Hopefully you can all see you next time.